Gail King and Anthony Mason. And we begin with this. The impeachment hearings that begin this morning mark just the fourth time in history that Congress has considered removing a president from office. Think about that. The last time was 1998 when the House of Representatives impeached President Bill Clinton. So let's go back to Nancy Corda. She's at the site of this morning's hearing. Nancy, how would you compare the current inquiry to the last one? Well, Tony, the partisan divide is certainly similar. With President Clinton, Republicans had the majority in the House, and they were moving forward with an impeachment inquiry into a Democrat in the White House. And just like today, the minority party argued that the majority had been trying to take a president down for years. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. President Bill Clinton lied under oath about his affair with a White House intern, triggering an impeachment inquiry in the Republican-led House. Then, like now, the parties were split over whether the president's actions represented what the Constitution refers to as high crimes and misdemeanors. California Democrat Zoe Lofgren. He lied about sex, not an admirable thing but really not an activity that shook the foundations of the Constitution and the democracy. Wisconsin Republican Jim Sensenbrenner. The President of the United States should be held to the highest standard of anybody in the country. Both lawmakers sit on the House Judiciary Committee, which handles impeachment. They were there in 1998, too. What stands out to you about that time? It was a heck of a lot of work. The Judiciary Committee got all of STAR's evidence dumped on us with a few days' notice. In this case, there is no special prosecutor like Kenneth Starr to gather all that evidence. My role today is to discuss our referral and the underlying investigation. So the Intelligence Committee has been investigating instead with a series of closed-door depositions. This is not a joyful experience for anyone engaged in it, but it's an obligation that we have given the facts that have uh, been discovered so far. President Clinton famously said the process was beyond his control. It is not in my hands, it is in the hands of Congress and the people of this country, ultimately in the hands of God. President Trump has mounted a more direct defense. We had a totally appropriate, I even say perfect conversation. In the end, the House voted to impeach President Clinton on two charges. But he was acquitted by the Senate less than two months later, with some Republicans crossing party lines. William Jefferson Clinton B. and he hereby is acquitted of the charges in the said articles. Sensenbrenner predicts acquittal for President Trump, too. The president is not going to be removed from office. I think everybody realizes that. The split here in Congress is reflective of the divide in the country. According to the latest CBS News poll, 53% of Americans approve of the inquiry into President Trump, while 47% disapprove. Not that far off from 1998, when 53% of Americans said they would be satisfied if no action were taken against President Clinton and the entire matter were dropped. Anthony. Yeah, and those hearings will begin in just a couple hours, Nancy. Thank you. Ahead in an exclusive.